This video from Casio Help, we're going to demonstrate how to you can remove the uh, non-resettable GT from your daily reports. So if you're looking at this video, you're, you're, you're basically finding your Z reports confusing and you want to strip out some of the information so you can just focus on what you've taken today. So the bit we're looking at is on every single G, uh, Z report you have a non-resettable GT which um, can cause a bit of confusion in terms of the adding up. Um, you, you want to get to a point where you're only looking for your cash in draw totals to make it easier to, to balance the till. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fairly straightforward to do and it is reversible. So if you decide, well, do want the GTs on there, you can then put them back on. Um, and I'll have another video showing you how to do that. One thing you should be aware of is the GT doesn't reset. So it, even though you take it off the reports, it's still chugging away in the background. So if you ever put it back on, it will be the total of everything that the till's been up to. Okay, so the first thing is to turn the PGM key to the PGM position. And if you've got cashiers set up, obviously you need to log in. You then arrow down to the system setting. And when that's highlighted, CA amount tend to enter. We then type in free subtotal and then enter 1622 subtotal, followed by 1111 CA amount 10 subtotal. We now turn the key back to Z. I've got to log in and then run a Z report. If we compare that to the report we've got here that I just previously ran, has got a GT on it. I'm expecting the next report to basically have nothing on it, partly because I haven't sold anything since the last time I ran the report, but also there's no GT on there. So yeah, so that's how to do it. If you want to put the GT back on, there's another video appearing now showing you how to do it. There's probably a couple of other videos on how to get the best out of the 400. You can welcome to check those out. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and you can also visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.